What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the Neighborhood Podcast. I'm one of the hosts of the podcast. My name is Kyle Dabro. So what we're going to do today is we're going to focus on the situation that's involving Frank Vogel and the Lakers front office. Uh, the Lakers season has come to an end. Uh, they finished with a 33-49 and record, which was 11th place in the Western Conference overall. And I think it's fair to say that this season, from beginning to end with the Lakers, has been an abject failure, no matter how you categorize it. And essentially what I see going on with Frank Vogel is essentially Frank Vogel is going to be the scapegoat for this entire season when I think that's not necessarily the accurate way to portray it because the way that this roster was constructed, I don't know how much of a say that Frank had in this roster construction going into this season. It seemed to me that Rob Palenka and LeBron James, those were the two focal pieces in bringing in the talent that the Lakers had on their roster this year. And when you look at the roster that the Lakers had this year, their roster was legitimately old, no matter how you look at it. They brought in some pretty old veterans like Dwight Howard, Trevor Ariza, Rajon Rondo, Carmelo Anthony, Russell Westbrook. These guys are either at the end of their careers or at the end of their prime as far as Russell Westbrook is concerned. And on paper, though, they looked pretty good going into this season, but we didn't know how this team would mesh and whether or not the injuries would be a focal point for the year. Well, the age really showed because a lot of these guys ended up getting hurt. LeBron missed time. Anthony Davis missed time. Carmelo missed some time. Dwight Howard missed some time. There was a boatload of injuries throughout this entire roster that really impacted their season. And I think it's wrong for the Lakers to solely put all of the blame on Frank Vogel by firing him. Now, granted, that's the scapegoat of all of this, but I think the two people that are going to be most responsible but are going to get away with it are going to be LeBron and Rob Palenka because those are the two pieces in my mind who are most responsible for assembling this team that they had this year. And essentially what happened after this game against the Nuggets last night. So the Lakers beat the Nuggets last night, ended their season, and there were already reports. There were already tweets saying that Frank Vogel was going to be fired. And this was despite the fact that Frank didn't even have a press conference after the game to really even kind of absorb this news because he found out through one of the reporters asking him a question in the post-game press conference, essentially saying that he was going to be fired, that he was going to be let go. And essentially what he told back to that reporter was that he hadn't heard anything. And I understand that the Lakers had a terrible season, but this is not the way to go about it. Granted, I know this is a business, and I know that um, the business in the NBA can be very cutthroat. And Despite the, all the issues that the Lakers have had this season, I think the way that they're going about this with Frank Vogel is just completely unacceptable. And to me, the front office should be ashamed of themselves. That includes Jeannie Buss. That includes Rob Palenka. Those are essentially the two figureheads that are running the operation for the Lakers this year and have run the Lakers in years past. And this is the way that you go about it by just throwing your head coach under the bus when he had bad pieces to work with. I mean, when you look at that roster, I mean, the average age of the Lakers overall was over 30 years old. I believe that they're the only team in the NBA that had an average age over 30. It's not going to work out in the long term, yet Frank's going to be let go because they base it on performance and he wasn't able to make uh, this roster work together well. And honestly, a lot of these injuries that the Lakers had, I think really had an impact on the season overall. But, you know, looking at the Lakers season in totality, a lot of these guys are just cooked at this point, except for LeBron and maybe some other role players like Malik Monk, Austin Reeves, and maybe Taylor Horton Tucker because they're still relatively young. But, I mean, getting rid of Frank Vogel is not going to solve the Lakers' issues going into next season. There's a lot of issues on this team. The fact of the matter is, is that LeBron James is going to be 38 going into next year. Anthony Davis is going to be 30 going into next year, and his injury history is a major concern moving forward. That's why he's getting, there's a lot of rumors circulating 
around him at this current time about him possibly getting traded this offseason. And some of the young guys, I, I like what Malik Monk was able to do for the Lakers this year. I thought he had some good stretches here and there. Austin Reeves is definitely improving. Maybe we'll see guys like Mac McClung come up from the G League and get some time with the Lakers next season. But overall, LeBron and AD, I don't believe that these two guys are going to be able to carry this team to a championship in any way, shape, or form. They're going to have to bring in a lot of talent to not only offset the potential injuries that LeBron and AD are going to face, but they need to bolster this roster in a major way as soon as possible. But Frank got the blame here. And I understand that the Lakers had a terrible season, but they fell way short of expectations. But to me, the main focus for the Lakers this year, as far as who's most responsible for it, it's on Rob Palenka and LeBron James. And that's where the focus should be. And it's not. It's on Frank Vogel. And I think he's being let go. And I think it's, I think it's being done in an unfair way. But that's the NBA. It's very cutthroat. Just have to kind of get used to it. And I imagine that Frank will probably find a better situation because the situation in LA with the Lakers is not improving anytime soon. And honestly, the Lakers could be one of the worst teams in the NBA once LeBron and AD uh, move on in their respective careers. So it's a bad situation with the Lakers. And just letting Frank go is not going to solve the issues that the Lakers have. They have a lot of deeper problems to fix. And there's going to be a lot of soul searching this offseason. That's just how I see it. But with that said, you guys, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys like the video, hit that like button below. If you guys want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, hit that subscribe button. Any sort of support that we can give for the channel, Kevin and I definitely appreciate it. That's all that I got for this segment, and we'll see you guys later.